I'm here today for my consultation with Dr. William Mooney. I've always had concerns with my nose, both aesthetically and functionally, and I'm finally taking the step to seek his professional advice. I put a lot of thought into who I wanted to see for this, and Dr. William Mooney kept coming up as the best option. I've met a lot of his patients who are so happy with their results, and I've seen a lot of before and afters, as well as the fact that he performs more rhinoplasties than any other surgeon in Australia. It just seemed like the best option. So I can't wait to hear what he has to say and I can't wait to put the wheels in motion for a possible rhinoplasty. Good afternoon. Hi. How are you? Good, thank you. Danielle? Yes. My name's Dr. Will Mooney. Thanks for coming in today. I'm going to start off with some basic questions to get a feeling for what's going on here. When we're planning the right nose for you, there's a bunch of different variables that we use. Your sex and ethnicity for starters. Uh, then we look at your face shape your facial features and how they're clustered throughout your face, whether you have big or small features. You have got a, quite a small face, as you pointed out, with big dramatic features. I'm guessing it's sort of Mediterranean heritage, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so to plan that, it's easy enough to talk about it, but we really want to see what your nose is going to look like. And to that end, we do both functional and cosmetic assessment. For the cosmetic component, we take some photos and go through different imaging and see what sort of shapes we can play with. It's a process, not a procedure of rhinoplasty, and planning is so important. This is your first consultation, but it will be the first of a couple at least before we proceed with surgery. Because it's not a haircut, it's the rest of your life, and it's something we both want to be organically grow together to get the right shape that satisfies you and that I think is reasonable for your, for your facial shape and your facial features. So what we've done is taken some cosmetic photos of you today from head on, from side on and from 45 degrees and we've done some computer aided imaging to get an idea what sort of changes we can make to your nose. This is your head on or AP picture and what we've done here is we've refined your nose and made it more elegant. Now it's interesting now that we've got a lovely brow nasal line that's quite continuous there you've refined the tip of your nose as well, but we haven't made it any smaller because of the generosity of this lovely big mouth you've got, wide into papillary distance, strong brow line. Those things demand a nose that's not too small because it's still going to look natural for your facial, facial features. Let's have a look at your profile shots. Now with your profile, there's a couple of different options we looked at. A relatively straight nose, and then the next one which is a slight scoop. I really don't like ski jumpy noses, but you know, there's a different nose for everybody. And so let's go through those different options. Finally, we look at your 45 degree angle, and you can see here, you're making a much more refined and elegant shape to your nose. So let's start with those images. I'm gonna burn them onto a uh, memory stick for you to take home and have a look at. Show your friends, show your family, show no one if you don't want, but have a look at them and, and ruminate. So next time we meet, before your surgery, we can, we can address them again and have another look. Sure. The last thing I like to do is assess your nose functionally. So let's go into my um, clinic and have a look at the inside of your nose working. So I'm 10 months post-op my rhinoplasty procedure and I'm so thrilled with the result. I actually can't believe it took me 30 years to actually take the step and do it because it truly is the best thing I've ever done. For my confidence, for my functional breathing, it's just been such an amazing journey. Leading up to the surgery, I was waiting for nerves to kick in, but I think I was so well prepared by all of the staff and Dr. Moody himself as to what to expect uh, during the surgery, after recovery, so there were no real surprises. I really felt excitement more than anything else. I actually bolted to the hospital that morning. I basically walked myself in and it was pure excitement for me. Waking up from rhinoplasty surgery, I felt obviously a little bit confused and tired. I was waiting for the pain to kick in and it just didn't really. 
I describe it more as discomfort. I obviously couldn't breathe in and out of my nose um, because I had the um, splints put in. There was a very small amount of bruising and swelling and the bulk of that actually came out on day three, which I was warned about. And that probably is your worst day in terms of what you look like and sort of questioning what's actually been done and what's hiding underneath that cast. It's all a little bit unknown. Uh, the best day was day five when my cast finally came off and that was just like Christmas. Initially, my first reaction was that my nose was still big, but it was obviously just all of the swelling. By that stage, most of the bruising had gone. It was just sort of fading underneath my eyes. But honestly, each week that passed, my swelling had reduced and I was just discovering this new nose that was hidden underneath all the swelling. It was like being given a brand new functioning nose. So my breathing is at optimum level now. I think before the surgery it was really quite low and now it's just so much better. I don't struggle with things like jogging or doing yoga or any other exercise that requires me to breathe in and out of my nose. It has vastly improved and I'm so grateful for that as well. I would really recommend going through the consultation process even if you do have some fears about the procedure itself. The team are really supportive and Dr Mooney makes you feel very comfortable. The visual imaging that he does for you on the day is the best way to actually see what you're going to look like before and after. It's quite accurate and for me that was the selling point because I could never have imagined what it would look like and that really gave me confidence in Dr Mooney. There's no pressure to go ahead with the procedure. I really felt like it was just an education in terms of what was out there and what was available and I was able to go home and actually gather all that information together and make a decision. I frequently say that I wish I'd done it earlier but now that I've had it done it is honestly the best thing I've ever done.